Hello everybody, my name is Anatoly and today we're watching South Park 4th Grade. Let's see how this goes. Well, here we are, dude. The first day of 4th Grade. Yeah, no one's getting pushed around by 4th Graders. Weren't they always in the 4th Grade? We're 4th Graders now, too. Yeah, but now we're 5th Graders, you stupid 4th Graders, so move it! Oh, but, but what kind of useless transition is this one? Because I think this is the only time that they go up a grade. Huge mistake, in my opinion. They should have stayed in the third one. Find some third graders to beat up. Hey, come here. <laughs> what? What grade are you going into? Third. Stupid third grader? Yeah, get out of here! Oh, yeah, that's better. You know, I have a fourth grade teacher, some new lady from Denver. Denver? Oh, dude, we could walk all over her. He's right. We have to take a hard stance right now and establish that we're the dominant ones in this relationship. All right. Hey, listen up, everybody. We need to stand up to this new teacher and insert ourselves. Let's all do something Absolutely. radical. Like what? Like, how about right at 835, we all jump up on our desk, pull down our pants, and shout, kiss my ass, all together. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. But, but when we pull our pants down, should we stand front ways or back? I mean, do we show our behinds or our wieners? Uh, uh, butters. The act of rebellion. It does not necessitate a lot of overthinking. Do exactly as your father has taught you. Can I please have the Vietnamese one for $10 an hour? I think showing our asses will be quite sufficient, Butters. Uh, maybe we could stand like this with our wieners poking through the back of our legs, you know? <laughs> Give her a nice fruit bowl. <laughs> Yeah, is that or we could just show our ass. Physically okay, so it's possible. decided. When the clock hits 8.35, we I all guess. stand up on our desk, pull down our pants, and yell, kiss my ass. Together we are strong. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Timmy might need some help pulling his pants down. We got you covered, Timmy. Timmy! Whoa, dude, this is our new classroom? Uh, look at all this stuff. Hey, what the hell's with these little half desks? Dude, look at the walls. Everything is written in some strange foreign language. All right, children, quiet down. Welcome to the fourth grade. I did not connect the dots in my head. This is the point where a legend with her humongous milkers is born. I think Miss Chokes on Dick needs her own porn category. Bestiality. God, dude. Her titties are fucking huge. My name is <laughs> Miss are Chokes huge. on Dick. <laughs> More like Miss Makes Me Sick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Playtime is over, children. They, they Do you don't understand get it. me? I don't know how your last teacher behaved, but this is the fourth it. grade, and it is time to go to work. <laughs> Kiss my ass! <laughs> oh, weak, you guys. No. Seriously weak. Being thrown under the bus like that. First of all, I gotta mention the bravery of Cartman. Second of all, I hereby acquit Cartman on all accounts. Good explanation for this. Oh, I'm sure I do. This is the fourth grade. You need to grow up. I'm trying. Now get uh, back to your desk and write a thousand word essay on why you feel you need to disrupt my class. Fantastic, then. Now, let us begin our first day exam. Ah. Silence! Ah, what a it. bitch! And did you see her lazy eye? You can't even tell who she's looking at. You guys are all such pussies. I can't take it, man. Writing in cursive? Fractions? I can't do it! Yeah, normal school. I know, after Garrison, everything would feel like rocket science. Except maybe putting condoms on with your mouth. Yeah, only now do we realize how much we all took the third grade for granted. Huh? Everything was great in third grade. And now that it's all over, we're starting yeah. to see just how Unnecessary it nostalgia, ladies Remember and gentlemen. Remember how you used to be <laughs> in the third grade? Thank we you, used Cartman. to laugh and play and cherish each day in the third grade. We learned wondrous things from our teachers so nice. Set on marshmallow desks with teddy bear smiles. The world seemed to all make sense. But that sense seems to slowly fade after third grade. In third grade, we used to write with crayons. We would, would make hold his hand. with glitter and glue. We had warm cookies and hearts full of love. And there wasn't a care in the world for me. Do you also have this tendency of nostalgically rethinking certain events of your life? I always do this stuff. I know that there were some periods in my life where I felt like shit, but as the years pass, your brain starts telling you that you actually liked it. That I wouldn't train just to go back on me. <sighs> <laughs> nah, not on the lap of Garrison, wow. not like that. I've forgotten how great third grade was. Uh, sure was. <sighs> I wish I was still there. Hey, that's it. We gotta go back to third grade. How? We travel back in time. Oh, oh yeah, time easy. travel. Uh, how are we gonna do that? Does it hurt? I don't wanna do it if it hurts or if it makes you get all sticky. It can't be that oh, bad. Is. People do it on TV all the time. Yeah, we just have to find somebody who knows how to do it. Or what about those two college guys next door to me? They're always doing science experiments in their basement. I actually know who you should ask if you want to time travel. 
Russians. But please, no more than uh, 30 years. Yeah, if there's a way to travel back in time, those two dogs don't know how. When it comes to time travel theory, there are basically two schools of thought. The Spock theory is that a slingshot around the sun could create a wormhole in which time could not escape. The Lieutenant Commander Data theory, however, is that a magnetic vibration could create a rip in the time-space continuum. Look, whatever it takes, we just have to get back to third grade. Uh, Dog yeah, the details on those guys, ladies and gentlemen. One guy with his masturbation broken wrist, and then the other one with his falling glasses. Time travel is no laughing matter. Four times the Enterprise traveled back in time, and four times they almost didn't make it back. We don't want to make it back. We want to stay there. Oh. So can you do it? It's all theoretical. But from a scientific standpoint, the creation of a rip in oh, space is possible. We just need to find an inertia device. Hey, this kid's electric wheelchair might be just what we need. Inertia device? I think you should get an iPhone, because every Apple product is an inertia device. People tend to buy the new model out of uh, pure inertia every year. Fourth grade teacher is driving me nuts. What's the problem? Uh, you see, Chef, Miss Choke's own dick has very large, uh, honkers. And she doesn't <laughs> seem to like wearing a bra. I thought there was gonna be like a metaphor, there was gonna be like a reference or something, but no, Mac King just goes right to the point. He is gonna eventually become a fan of those honkers, but not now. You got that a problem? That sounds like heaven to me. No, it's really not as nice as you might imagine, Chef. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Principal Victoria, I would like a word. <sighs> Ooh, call the doctor. My new students are the most misbehaved, illiterate, brain-dead group of children I've ever come across. Well, Miss Choksandik, those children did fairly well in the third grade. One of them is mentally handicapped, for Christ's sake. Oh, which one? The one in the wheelchair. Look, I would like to have a talk with their last year's teacher. God damn it, her tits are excessively shaky in this episode. That is a 12 on the Richter scale of unhorniness. Garrison? <laughs> Please, I'm yeah. afraid that's impossible. Nobody's seen Mr. Garrison since the last school year ended. Why? Where did he go? We don't like to talk about it. But I need help reaching these kids. I have happen. nothing but the highest expectations for them. And with God as my witness... Oh! Oh! I might need some divine intervention on this one. The nipples that shall not be seen. Wonders of the world, so that they can reach the top! <laughs> I hope that sometime very soon you will let me in on what happened to this Mr. Garrison. And with that, I will bid you good day. Oh, well, sure thing. Fine. Bye-bye, then. At least they share my pain. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Did he puke blood? It's a normal, natural reaction, after all. I think I'm gonna shit blood after this one. Power up the handicapped kid's chair will accelerate at a high rate of speed about 10 feet that way, then make the required magnetic vibrations. If the fields are right, it should then create a wormhole up near the front of the classroom. You guys don't actually think this is going to work, do you? Now, when you all see the wormhole, At least you try. guys are going to have about 4.2 seconds to run through it. And on the other side, you will find yourself in the exact same spot only one year ago. Back in the third grade. Imagine being in 2002 and... Never mind. Mr. President, there's a second time traveler. Yeah, wait until the teacher yells at us this time, and we all tell her to suck our balls. Yeah! yeah. Oh, here she comes. All right, children, so I hope you all... Don't single out Cartman this Please time. pass your papers up to the front. Suck my balls! <laughs> Oh, God damn it, you guys. I'm so serious. One I request. Said, Pass your papers One to request. the friend dick. We didn't do our homework, Miss Makes Me Sick. We didn't feel like it. It's chokes on dick, and you are all going to have detention. <sighs> well, I like the way they don't even acknowledge the joke. And I guess this is a good way to comedically enhance those in-your-face jokes. Shiraj, you are, teacher. I'm afraid we have different plans. Gentlemen? Primary fusion initiated. Molecular chronotine active. <laughs> What are you doing? We're going back in time to the third grade. Goodbye, teacher. Yeah. Perhaps we shall see you in another year. <laughs> Ta -da! Ta -da! I thought there was a room behind this room. I ain't think it would work. Me neither. Well, well, well. I'd say somebody has some explaining to do. Yeah, damn right they do. Dude, Timmy's chair is packed with all that stuff. We gotta help him. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Children, help. children, come back here. <laughs> Timmy, you have to stop! Isn't nope. it like five kilometers an hour? Even the Cartman chase with the Gogo -Go Broncos wasn't this slow. The system malfunctioned. If he stops, the nuclear cord could break its magnetic field and the whole chair will blow sky high. What? N nuclear? Timmy, you gotta get off that chair! No! No? We break the chair I'm not gonna question to that. Wait, if he gets off, the whole thing blows. So if Timmy drops his speed below five miles an hour, the chair blows, and if he gets off, the chair blows? Yep. yep. My God. 
It's been over Quantum three hours blowing, since the police I first showed up on the scene of a handicapped boy's wheelchair set with explosives. Over here, over here! The child can't stop or get off the chair without risking explosion, and so the SWAT team will now attempt to disarm the device. Anna! Closer. Once again, the best allocation of resources. It was absolutely crucial to have a fucking helicopter here. Just watch your speed and stay still. Look out, Hampton! Oh! Ah, Tana! Dear Jesus, hang on, lady! Oh my God, what's going on? Ma'am, be very me is careful. Gonna... That wheelchair is set to explode. What? Ah! Oh my God! Oh my God! It's okay. Just stay calm and keep the speed above five. Huh? Huh? Oh my God! Tana! <laughs> Good. What's the wheelchair's battery power at? Oh my god! Less than 20 minutes! Well, at least it wasn't jokes on Dick waiting on that road with her cut out the fish nipples. What have we done? What do you think? Too forward? This, I have had it! This looks like a Boeing model. Control! I must speak with their last year's teacher, Mr. Garrison! That looked like a Boeing model. As we said before, that's impossible. What did God's name happen to him? Uh, Ms. Chokes on Dick. Mr. Garrison had several, uh, emotional issues. He was a closet homosexual who hated gay people. Whenever someone asked him if he was gay, he'd go nuts. That is not the main issue, Chef. The guy tried to have sex with Cartman for f**k's sake. Garrison wishes he was a closeted homosexual, but now nobody sees that closet anymore. To be frank, I don't think anyone ever saw it. He was accused of trying to solicit sex from a young okay. boy. After okay. being dismissed from teaching, Thank you. he went off to write romance novels. His first novel sold very well and everything was fun until he found out that his novel won the gay Pulitzer Prize and was considered the best homoerotic novel since Huckleberry Finn. <laughs> <laughs> That was an unexpected homosexual missile, ladies and gentlemen. My favorite quote from Mark Twain has got to be, There was a man called N-word Jim. Some say that on cold nights, you can still hear him moaning, I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. <laughs> and nobody has found him? Well, we have Nice stereo effect. Good. I see. Then the only way I'll find the secret to teaching these kids is to go up into those mountains and find Mr. Garrison myself. But he could be anywhere up high in those mountains. Oh, I'll find him, even if I have to climb up and up and up. No! no. What? Oh my god! Oh my thank god! You, thank you, Lord. Tom, I'm standing about two miles outside of Denver. In all honesty, another nip slip, and I'm out of here. That has already exceeded my daily intake of nipples, especially nipples that are located in the knee area. Where the darling handicapped boy fights for his life on a wheelchair of death. Guys, can you tell us what kind of explosives we're actually dealing with here? Uh, well, it's a simple hydrogen fusion oh, core with a Veltic reactor. It just turned into a time bomb. This has never happened in all the 72 original Star Trek episodes. Yeah. Wait, you mean 73 episodes? No, there were 72. No, there weren't. Oh, you are such a nerd. <laughs> Tom, I Star Trek fans, do you feel represented? Star Trek has got to be the best thing that George Lucas has ever did. Now the rescuers are going to try and send in one of the handicapped boy's little friends in an attempt to keep him Kenny. calm and hopefully Kenny. disarm the device. It's all right. Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> all right, young man. When you get underneath that wheelchair, I want you to relay back to me with this walkie-talkie, and then I'll tell you which wires to cross. Ready? Woo Go, Blue! Coming. They sent paper Kenny. Imagine having to kiss your son on the forehead at the funeral after this. You just start sucking his brain like spaghetti. Oh my god! Oh my god! Stay calm! You have to stay calm! But if we get off the chair, it blows up! No, Women. no, that's only if the boy gets off! Oh, see ya! Damn it! <laughs> Ten seconds, Hanson! Nine, eight, he's out, me! Six! Wait! Five, got it! Please help me. That was quite unexpected. Who has enabled Timmy, ladies and gentlemen? Maybe that lady was the catalyst for this. It, it worked? <laughs> hey, it did work. 
Yeah, like in the 73 episodes of Star Trek. Isn't this one the mountain where Stan has killed the Lion Queen and then subsequently taught her offsprings how to perform abortion? Yeah, that was a weird episode. Ooh. <laughs> uh. Ooh, the Hello. Is she a reference to the chick from Simpsons? What am I doing? I'm gonna get myself killed. Is Hopefully. anyone here? <laughs> Mr. Mr. Garrison? The state. I don't think Mr. Garrison has ever looked this good. Now Garrison is absolutely qualified to be an Orthodox priest. Who are you? What do you want? I'm the new fourth grade teacher. I've come to seek your help. Please, I don't know how to handle the new fourth graders. I've tried everything. I need to know how the you are. Lazy eye. No, no, I haven't taught in over eight months. Mr. Garrison, you knew. The kitty was playing with the tit, ladies and gentlemen. Did she really put catnip on her nipples? You're my only hope. Do you know what it is to be a teacher, miss? Chokes on dick. No, I don't. It's a lie. You see, <laughs> that's what you get from being a teacher. You work and you work for the children, and then people start rumors that you're gay, even though you love Poontang. Mr. Garrison, these children Absolutely. are depending on me to give them a future. I can't do it without your guidance. Please help me for them, for the future of our children. 200 bucks. Done. Dude, you gotta build us another time machine. Huh? Oh. Can't. What do you mean, can't? You made it work, just build another one. I can't because Pizza Face isn't here. We're not on speaking terms. We got in a big fight and he moved all his stuff out. What did you get in a fight about? There's 73 original Star Treks. He keeps saying there's 72. Oh, Jesus Christ, you've got to be kidding me. Is Star Trek actually that big of a deal, ladies and gentlemen? As you might have noticed, I'm a little bit young. Is it better than Star Wars? That is my question. Mr. Lucas, please don't rape me, I'm 10. No, Pizza Face took all his equipment home to his mom's. Now, if you can go over there and get him to admit that he's wrong. All right, come on, guys. Man, I can't believe we have to do this while Timmy's already back in time. Yeah, Timmy's probably back in third grade right now, living it up. <laughs> Maybe he's gonna see the Loch Ness Monster here. He was from the Paleolithic era, right? Probably gonna meet Stan's grandpa as well. Time <laughs> Triceratops? Is that a Triceratops, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, it is a Triceratops. I've got my facts right there. But it's not the Paleolithic era because dinosaurs. All right, let's try it again. Children, we are now going to do math problems. But teacher, I don't want to do my math problems. Uh uh, you will do them or else you'll be in very big trouble. Well, I'm not going to do it, teacher. You can kill my shit. Balls. Don't use that kind of language, young man. No. No? Look, you can't counter a profane command with an idle threat. You must extinguish it with a vulgar suggestion. God. When a child says, suck my balls, you say, present them. Oh. Now, that actually makes sense. You fight fire with fire. But Garrison asking kids to present their balls. Yeah, I would not trust that. Suck my balls. Present them. Good. Patience. Very good. Patience is key. You're ready to move on to the next level. In but I warn you, we will now be diving deep into your own saggy. These children know what scares you, and so we too must face those demons. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm not afraid. You will be. You will be. <coughs> you will be. What reference is that? I think the kids have traumatized Garrison a little bit more than his self denial. God damn it, this is ridiculous. What? Dude, can you please just stop fighting with your friend and build another machine so we can travel back in time to the third grade? Don't. Look, there aren't 73 episodes of Star Trek, there are 72. The menagerie was a two parter that counts as one episode. Pizza Face is wrong. Who the hell cares? I know. Why does he have to be such a dick about it? Wouldn't it be better to just agree with him and forget the whole thing? No, no because he's wrong. Look, you guys built a machine together that can bend time. If you'll just agree with him, you can build another one and usher in a whole new era of science. And live in a world of 72 original Star Treks? I don't think so. I don't want to live in that world. God, these guys are such geek dumbasses. Yeah. I know. Thank yeah. you, Garbage. They don't even realize that the Menagerie originally was the pilot and later got split up into two episodes. <laughs> you know what? Bully the shit out of Butters. I am done trying to defend this kid. This is it. The Tree of Inside. You must go in and face what lives inside. What lives inside? Hell, if I know, I wouldn't go in there. <laughs> oh, righty. Well? What the? Why is there a mist in here? There's nothing in here but an exit to the other side. There's nothing in here at all. Oh, and I actually thought my mental demons would be in here. 
Wait a minute. Maybe there's not supposed to be anything in here. Maybe I'm supposed to see that I alone do have the strength to reach the kids. I think I get it now. <sighs> hey, hurry up in there. Jesus. You're taking too long in the damn tree of insight. You in there? Hey. Garrison is going to have an internal battle here. Come speak with the tree of Namba. Where the hell did she go? What the? Ah! Who, who are you? I am you. I am your gay side. My gay side. I, I don't have a gay side. You must face me at last. Does he have a non-gay side? This scene implies that. I do not think that is very accurate. You aren't real. You can't be. It is me. Your darkest fear. Your gay self incarnate. What do you want? I want you to not fight me anymore. To accept me once and for all. Why? Don't you see? All these years, your pain, your confusion, it comes from one place. Your denial of who you are. Of who we are. But I'm not gay. Everyone just thinks I am. Oh, stop it. What about the time you looked at Counselor Mackey's penis in the men's locker room? I was just comparing size for seven minutes. <laughs> and what about the time you masturbated to the... I don't know. Maybe Mackey has like an anaconda there. It's kind of understandable if he was applying uh, the TMI formula. Men's 100 meter swimming relay at the Olympics. I was beating off to the chags. There were no chags. Oh, damn you, spirit. Haunt me no longer. Admit it. No. You have to stop lying to yourself and get it. All right, all right. I admit it. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm Relief. gay. I am gay. You hear that, everyone? I'm gay. I'm gay. This is quite a moment of realization, ladies and gentlemen. But I think Mr. Garrison is the most homophobic homosexual that I have ever encountered. You do not kill that shit with the tree of insight. Yes, we've had a new time machine built. This one out of a simple microwave oven and a duck. <laughs> Au revoir, teacher. Perhaps we shall see you in I, I the did past. not even <laughs> question that. Gentlemen? Children, I will have order. I can't wait for Gene Roddenberry to tell you how wrong you are. Just like when you said there were no two-parters of Battlestar Galactica. There weren't! The episode called Guns on Ice Planet Zero was a two-parter! No, it wasn't! Stop, oh, please! I'll kill you! Stop! There it is! Come on, everybody! Children, get back into your seats! No way, lady! Eric, I mean it! You can suck my balls! Present them. <laughs> You said suck my balls. Well, go ahead. And Whip thus, respect was earned, ladies and gentlemen. That is always the case with Cartman. You gotta speak the language of vulgarity or dead parents. And I'll suck them. That, that's what Mr. Garrison would have said. Touché, teacher. Touché. Now, children, listen to me. Why do you want to go Touché. back in time? Life isn't about going back, it's about going forward. Yes, there are times in our life that we wish we could relive, but if we already live them perfectly, why live them again? The adventure of life is that there's always something new. New challenges, new experiences. A fun game is a game that gets harder as it goes. Yeah. So it is with life. Do you Thank you, miss makes me sick. What is the fun of reliving the same road again and again? The most mysterious and fun part of life is its randomness. You can feel that this one is a speech right from the, uh, from the heart. Dude, she's right. Yeah, and you know, now that I think about it, third grade wasn't all that great either. Yeah. Third grade sucked. Cartman, why the hell did you try to make us think third grade was so great? <laughs> yeah, you suck, Cartman. What? At least don't try to single him out. If you're ready, let's continue on with the fourth grade. Okay, I was about to ask, how does this happen? How does he invent a new mechanism to get back to the year 2000? But I'm not gonna question that. My man Timmy fisted Napoleon with that mace. You know I'm always here to help Principal Victoria. Hey, guess what, everybody? I'm gay! Mr. Garrison? What? I'm as gay as a gymnast on shore leave! You admit it? You admit it! Oh, that's great, Mr. Garrison. You've finally come to terms with yourself. Yeah, it feels really good. Well, congratulations! How many episodes away are we from a gerbil inside Mr. Slave's ass? That is a whole different stage of his homosexual acceptance. You know, I, I feel like I can start anew. If it's all right with you, I'd like to go back to teaching the third grade. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't hire gay people. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. <laughs>
I think that is the perfect ending for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Was this one a roller coaster of nipples and homosexuality? Apparently, the tree of insight, it has somehow erased the Nambla past of Garrison. If only it could do the same thing with my orthodox history. It is a little bit too early for Garrison to put gerbils in people's asses. But as I've said before, carpet being thrown under the bus three times like that, that is a recipe for a maniac, ladies and gentlemen. We finally kind of get to see his descent into madness. I am personally very ready for dead parents, but are you? That was it for today. Thank you for watching. This would mean like, subscribe, comment, all the usual stuff. Screw you guys. I'm again here.